<laughs> Hi, everybody. Tis I. Shrada, are you a cancer son? Because I, I I couldn't even start the intro. I went to click go live and read your comment. And I'm like, oh, this is so, this is cancer. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for being here. You're fun. I like you. <laughs> All right, hold on. I got to boot up the software here. We're going to make sure everything's behaving itself. And we're going to go live over here. Hold on, see what we're up to. Yeah, we're talking. We're doing stuff. Let's go. Go live on Instagram. Bring the Instagrammers in, all right? IG. IG, YT, in the house. Can't see you in energy. Oh, my gosh. I'm already rapping. We haven't even started yet. Okay, intro. I'm used to having this recorded. We got to go live. Hang tight. All right. Hi, everybody. Tis I, the only archer with Archer Astrology. How are you? Looking over your shoulder. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi laura hi cappy go what up mod squad all right tis i the only archer etc and so forth cancer it's time to do your love energy check in for you and the one on your mind total eclipse of the readings for april 2024 or whenever you clicked on this reading and decide to come and hang out with me for a little bit because my readings are timeless and meant to find you when they find you appreciate you for being here too return the love for me over here down here Love the like, share the channel and video, help get us out, help the familia to grow. Let's make this place crowded. We're all going to wind up, we're going to wind up paying that karma off that Schroeder was talking about. <laughs> also subscribe, set the bell to all notifications because I do go live every Thursday nights at 7.30 for the all signs. Tuesdays at 7.30 for the pick a card. Who knows what's going to happen? I actually got the whole week off of work, even normally in Cleveland for like a little bit of part of the week. So who knows? This week's going to be interesting. We're going to, we're going to change it up a bit. Feel free to page the swords all over the channel as much as you like. I got the healing music bass covers with Bill, who's he's 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 sleeping in. <laughs> he's packed up. So, but anyhow, um, need the prior signs. Uh, we got the Beatles, we got Caitlin Petty, Casey Musgrove, Blake Shelton. There's a lot, and there's like new ones. Saturday night yielded three new bass covers. It's gonna be so cool. Can't wait to get those things processed and uploaded for y'all. Um, Sunday was also Sunday was one to remember. It's going in my memoirs, but this has been an amazing meet and greet, and I cannot wait to do the next one. Next one's coming up in Michigan, and there's also a collab coming up with Sagittarius Soltero. So we're, I mean, we're, we're just going, we're going to the top. We're taking this reading to 11 for you, Cancer. So subscribe, set the bell, page of swords all over the channel as much as you like. I got healing music bass covers. Wait, we already talked about that. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I, maybe I want to be Caitlin Petty's bass player. Anyhow, that's personal. Meanwhile, back, back at your reading. <laughs> My Cancer placements are showing, aren't they? All right, we're going to take a look. There's pick a card readings and more stuff. Everything's neatly prioritized and organized for your viewing enjoyment. And we are live, so I cannot edit this. <laughs> There's no take two. <laughs> Anyhow, all right, so I appreciate you for being here. Love you very much, Cancer. Um, maybe that's kind of what you're feeling because you're like, well, Archer, the sun's in Aries. All the planets are in Aries. What's going on? There's nothing in my sign. There's nothing in Cancer. No, it's kind of like that common energy, you know, where you're sitting there like, like, I don't have any fourth house placements. You rule the fourth house, by the way yeah hang man and like maybe you're kind of a little tired of the broad strokes when people are just like oh well we all have all the signs and placements you're like well tell me more like does he have a car chariot energy right it's it's when you look deeper and you maybe you're bored with the broad strokes and you want some deets you want some 411 on the info because if you actually look deeper guess what you've got vestas in your sign and you've got apollo in your sign so like the nasa saturn 5 rocket you're ready to go to the moon and on top of Mercury retrograde and the eclipse energies, honorable mentions to the Van Allen radiation belts, but it's like the sun's already up there with its beautiful glow and the moon's coming in right on time. Jaws theme playing, I don't know, but you're getting ready to, to eclipse this out, pay some stuff off and go forward and make this happen. All right. So we're going to do what we do. We are going to, we're using our inside voices. We're behaving because I really like it here in Cleveland. It's cool. Got a whole nice feeling of independent here where I'm at, but anyhow, so. We're going to do a nine card spread on the table, 10th card outcome at the bottom of the deck using the OG Grand Theft Auto. I love this deck for the base cards. Do my version of a little Celtic cross. It's Archer's Cross um, to bear. <laughs> and then throw a boatload of clarifiers at it using the star card at the break. How about that stuff? Look at you healing, looking good. Okay, that's not a muscle card, but that's a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> nice. Okay, so anyways, let's do, oh my gosh, thank you, Angel of Enlightenment. We are, I appreciate you. You don't have to do that. I'm looking at the screen instead of the camera. Hi. Thank you so much. One card for you right off the top. Are you kidding me? Look at you, the star. You're definitely feeling the healing right out of the gate. That's, did you see that? Did you see that? The star card popped twice. That's wild child. I love it. Oh my gosh. Cancer, you are in charge. Moon's going to show up right on time. All right, let's go for it. Everything highest and greatest good. I'm your crystals. I'm your ride or die. You know how that stuff goes. I got your back. You covered. Okay. Let's go for it. For 
cancer in the one on their mind. The thought, the feel. I like this swivel chair, but it's stiff. I need more padding. I like the chair, though. It's cool. Anyhow, black. <laughs> black, rich Corinthian leather. What's up with them Corinthians and their leather? I don't know. They must have been good at it. Okay. <laughs> Thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Everything we got. Here we go. You ready, Cancer? Let's do it. Two shuffles for you, Cancer. One and two. Whoa, come here now. Let's love this deck for the crazy, cool Cancerians. TLC right out of the gate. Lisa left at Lopez. Let's go. Bottom of the tech is the strength card. Leo energy. I think this came out for Gemini too. You might want to check that out or you could be dealing with a Gemini or there's some strong Gemini placements going on right now. I don't know. <laughs> with the high priestess to temperance. Oh my goodness. Are you, look at your outcome. I kid you not. I cannot make this up. I can't tell a lie. I'm programmed not to tell a lie. But you are doing some heavy healing that you're not even telling anybody about. Sagittarius, high priestess to the strength card. Could be any sign. And with that five of cups in the outcome, that is showing your ability, top shelf alchemy, Sagittarius energy, to fix things up fast. Maybe you're doing like furniture repairs, reselling, re just refixing it up or in relocation and moving. Hey, Carmen, what up? Hashtag Crab Lives Matter for Carmen. All right, let's go for it. Strength card at the bottom. Either you're can or either are you a Cancer Leo Cusper? There is difference in the decans between Gemini Cancer and Cancer Leo. So let's find out. All right, let's go for it. First card out. What's your present energy? The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Cancer Energy showing in here that you are having healing and you're letting the wheels of your chariot go autopilot where you want it to go. Very nice energy. Letting destiny play out, the Pluto shift into Aquarius, literally looking up at the sun. I mean, I look out the window at the sun. Whoa, there's two archers. That mirror thing's freaking me out. But looking at the sun, how beautiful it looks and that the moon's coming in. You are following destiny and your divine path on this one here and looking quite well doing it. Okay, maybe even with the Sagittarius nine house energy showing up, you're tapping into your Akashic records and you're getting deep into the knowledge, wanting the details. Now, like, skip the broad strokes, right? All right, looking good doing it too, man. You are rolling. It's like it's like a chariot with some new shoes. That that's that's Detroit talk for wheels. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, what's your immediate influence? What's going on? It is gorgeous out, Carmen. I got to go outside and test out the camera lens with the uh, filters for the eclipse because you, you, you mean you got to have goggles for your eyes, but the cameras have lenses too. So you have to get, you can't just run outside with your camera phone and snap a picture. You'll fry your camera. So I got the lenses for that too. I can't, I'll post some pictures totally. All right. Your present energy is the queen of swords. Gemini shows up. And look at how artistically creative you are, especially if you've got some Gemini placements or just that ability to like, like work it literally. See how she's creating from the, her thoughts, her crown chakras energized, and she's got the brush in her hand. So you're like doing some heavy healing. And then maybe I'm talking to a left-handed Cancerian, or even more interesting, you're ambidextrous and nobody knows, or you've got that ability that like, like you do some things better left-handed than right-handed and vice versa. Okay. It's like for me with music, I can play both left-handed and right-handed guitars because I started on a right-handed and couldn't get it, but I learned it. And the first time I picked up a lefty, I'm like, well, this makes sense. You know, at the time, it was all I had. My buddy had a right-handed guitar. I was born left-handed, but I just tried to work with it. Maybe you're doing that too, where you just kind of adapt and roll with it. All right. Later, I got left-handed guitars and then I got way better. Anyways, what's your goal or destiny? What you up to? Page of Cups. I told you you're the one manifesting. Look at that. It's like Cinderella getting ready for the ball. The costume designer, Scorpio energy that lets you go deep into that Pluto into Aquarius influence and adapt to it. It's like Cinderella making the bow gown and then realizing getting everything done in time, fast, ready to roll. Because by midnight, the coach turns back into a pumpkin and the ruby, the glass slippers turn ruby. I don't know. Right there, I'm talking to a cancer that like, like you got either like you really like your shoe collections or you got that lucky pair of boots or something. Or it's just, it's kind of, hey, I, I, I got a pretty, for a guy, I got a pretty good amount of shoes between dress shoes, sneakers and this and that. And I got people that have looked at my shoe collection and have been like, Archer, what are you going to, where do you wear all those? And I look at them, I'm like, on my feet? You know, right? <laughs> Anyhow, so you were actually doing some heavy manifesting here while not letting things get to you. You are following the energetical flow and you are looking good to do it. Your confidence is, is attracting people in. But let's see what's up with the one on your mind, why they ain't talking to you. All right, let's go for it. Their present energy, who had strength cards at the bottom, still is the Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. So they're actually doing some heavy work and healing on their own too. Aquarius, I do love Aquarius. They're like an all signs reading. 
they have this ability when everybody else goes, ooh, seven of swords, we're in trouble now. They're in their seven of swords up in their fields trying to keep it real. They want to bring out that ten of cups because they got some fields for you on here. And they can have the ability, Aquarius energy, to swoop in, set those swords aside, and and to leave the swords open for communication. So with this one sword down, they are, they're quieter than usual, right? But they're totally checking you out. I'm calling that out right out of the gate, okay? Going forward, your present or their present energy. Uh-oh. Mirroring's going on. I can't tell if it's you or them already. Hi, Dan. Is the four of wands. Beautiful. Aries energy. There's four planets in Aries right now. That's energizing the twin flame, the soulmate connection, the fox and the hound, the four GM. It's that energy that you guys have not only been through so much similar things that you were brought together, have gone through what you've gone through, and your forward momentum is all dictated in your energetical blueprint that you guys share so many passions that it's impossible not to connect and love. And they're awakening to it. Maybe you're dealing with someone that's awakening to the twin flame journey and finding the goodness they're in. All right, so let's take your three cards. I have vacuum cleaner. I'm so sorry, people. <laughs> it's clean, though. It's, it's a nice hotel. It's clean. All right, <laughs> let's take your three cards, add their two cards to it, and see what we get for an outcome. Hi, Cancer Star Seed. Oh, my gosh, I've been pulling the star card right out of the gate. Oh, my gosh, rewind if you missed that one later because it was cool. All right, three plus two. This is the only time it equals six. That's why I love numbers. They're the only thing in the universe that can't lie, even when everybody else does. <laughs> Five of Swords. More Aquarius energy that comes out on this one. That's incredibleness. So this is another Aquarian energy. Um, dude, the one on your mind has, could have some very strong Aquarius in their chart, or you're straight up dealing with an aqua. Okay, aqua babies, the water bearer. The only one that can combine the air and the water energy, that North Star of guidance and healing without rusting the swords. Okay, it's rust proofing. That five of swords here is allowing you guys to overcome a lot of those things to take risks, take gambles. See the cards there? Maybe you guys just like go to the casino. Or it's it's that willing to take a bet. Like you find a scratch off or for one time for out of the blue moon, you guys just like bring home a scratch off, $2 scratch off ticket. I've never bought one. But, and then it like wins big or something. You guys are winning an energetical bet jackpot here. You were then could be born on the 7th, possibly the 4th or the 5th as well comes out. I'm also seeing the 10th and even the 27th for honorable mentions off of this strong Gemini Aquarius. So going forward, let's see what is the direction incoming energies that are influencing the situation. The Emperor, more Aries energy, and bossing up the ability to embrace that masculine energy, Aries energy. The, the Emperor rules the planets, you know, rules the system, rules whatever they're in charge of, and it, keeping notes, keeping track of things to roll forward into it with a strong Aries energy. And with four planets in Aries right now, how can you not be eclipsing out all the thoughts in that and motivating yourself forward? Beautiful energy. I'm totally digging this reading, Cancer. You're getting a good reading. It's Cleveland energy. Cleveland rocks. Like the Devil's Horn Comet is literally almost here too. Like everything's going to happen in a few hours. I can't wait to get out there and check it out. All right. The energies surrounding the connection are the Queen of Pentacles getting that bag and sitting at the head of the Ten of Pentacles table. This puts together some kind of a 10-year plan. Maybe I'm seeing that you guys have got some kind of an early retirement thing or something that you manifest that keeps the hustle strong. Every day you hustle and it gets you to the head of that Ten of Pentacles table like Queen Elizabeth. And the one time I channeled Queen Elizabeth and was like, what's up, Queen? What you doing? And she's like, would you like to know about Charles? Would you like to know about the future of the royalty? I'm like, nah, I'm sure they'll be fine. Kate's there. It'll be cool. And uh, I was like, I just need to know for a very, very, very dear friend of mine if there's sporks in England. And so the Queen was like, that's all? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. We're good. Charles and everybody got this. They're fine over there. They're cool. She goes, okay, I'll let you know. A few days later, found out there were sporks. So you guys are finding that one last missing puzzle piece that lets you sit at the head of the Ten of Pentacles table. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Anyhow, future direction movements and et cetera and so on and so forth. All the usual archer stuff. The Knight of Cups. This is fast moving in this one here. Going to a whole nother level and looking good. That little bit of ability to balance the emotions and move forward in a very unique connection. The Knight of Cups is unusually unique and says exactly what they mean. That red cup going off too. The red cup's going off and that guy brought the same jacket as me amazingness wow okay so it's that unique right it's look at this look it's on the macy's rack yeah it's over here i guarantee you the knight of cups was in line with me i kid you not i don't know anymore <laughs> but anyhow you've got strong cancerian energy aries and leo big time cancer and leo cusper energy those two are never far apart scorpio's hanging out along with sagittarius gemini strong aries and a little bit of taurus virgo and some capricorn the earth signs are strong with this reading i like it 
like it a lot. All right, let's go for it. Give me everything you've got on the Wheel of Fortune. Really? Really? Hold on. A four of Swords that just popped right off the table. You've had dreams about them. I'm seeing like a dream of somebody like wearing yellow, like 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 the like yellow dress or a yellow button down. It's for some reason that popped at me instantly, and I I run with my intuition. Your dreams are connecting you. You guys have actually been on a higher level astrologically. Astrological projection. Well, I can't word very well there, but it's that ability to connect your dreams after you've been through that three of swords healing. You're paying off that karmic debt and putting everything away off to the side going forward for those things that you have dreamt about. Libra Aquarius energy on that. Whoa. There's the three of swords. It's almost like the reading rolls backwards. And check this out, Cancer. Your goal or destiny is manifesting that ten of cups that your person wants to bring out in their seven of swords fields. You guys are connected. You've had a dream about them, but guess what? They're dreaming about you too to heal and find a new passion to go forward. This is a fresh start, brand new beginning, cleaning out the trash files and rolling forward for an unconditional love. Look at that with the Eight of Cups. Maybe there's investing in that involved because in the Eight of Cups, it's depicted of walking away from those cups and moving forward, following the moon, your dominant rock, and going towards a strong, solid investment. Maybe even something like, like, like side investments. You know, like when you see like electric cars and hybrids and everything that's going on right now and you go, well, that'd be cool to invest in the car. But what about investing in the gas stations of the future? What about investing in that? You know, it's you've got this ability to think different and forward. And maybe that's what's got this passion ignited for you where your wands lit up. That's as far as I can go because Rizzo is not safe for YouTube. But I'm seeing with that mirroring going on that like you guys both want each other and love them big time. OK, but that Queen of Cups Madonna shows up. It's a fresh energy. We'll go with the Weird Al version to keep things clean on YouTube, but like a surgeon, you know, but transferred around. You get, you're get you a heavy healer. You are here helping each other, okay? Tapping into those Akashic records. Maybe you're a mentor or a teacher or you do something online where you do it from passion and love. You're following your passions and dreams. It's like it's like a, a positive presentation or standing on stage TED Talk style to teach and learn from your hurts, your three of swords. Because look, those are some clean swords. There's no blood on those swords. To the ten of cups it's following your passions and dreams it's like bringing them in on this one here so you know that a relationship is greater than the sum of all its parts the eight cups to the nine cups the emotions that become overwhelming and make things click differently and work differently and you're leveling through it with the five of pentacles to open that door and unlock a pandora's box treasure dress of information and wealth that just goes the difference here you're very different cancer and maybe people notice that about you Ten of Swords made it point of completion. Look at that. It looks almost like a safety net to work on those Four Swords dreams that you guys have been working on. Okay, you you do still love them. You have an your Cancer. You have an unconditional love with that Queen of Cups. You can forgive faster than anybody else and rise above it. So it's that ability to to work through these Ten of Swords growing pains that as a Cancer you might be feeling right now. We all go through them, and a crab is interesting. I liked it when cancer was referred to as a turtle and a moon child. I thought that was nicer. You know, isn't that the cry baby? The moon babies. But it's that ten of swords energy that as a crab expands, it begins to outgrow its shell. But it's when it when it finally cracks and expands and grows, then there's a brand new stronger shell inside of there waiting underneath of it. Okay. It's like Kip from Knight Rider going to super pursuit mode. So you're in the middle of a leveling up that like you're realizing that like all the signs you're seeing, the repeating numbers, the songs that you think about them and a song comes on that reminds you of them or like the song answers your questions. That's that ability that you're rising up and knowing it's like having that ability to know all the encounters that are coming your way before they come your way. Eight of Cups to the Ace of Wands, that passion that ignites your dreams to bring them together. Ten of Pentacles to the Tower. Tupac shows up right in there. That ability like Think of back when, when uh, the East Coast, West Coast stuff that went on in the 90s going through this. And you are the one looking good that shows up and comes in Ten of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. It's on your goal or destiny card. This is written into your blueprint. When when you talked to Dr. Michael Isaac Newton, it was like, yeah, I want to be a cancer, right? And they're like, are you sure? And you're like, did I stutter? And they're like, okay, okay, cancer it is. So you, you got that ability to 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 know that all of the encounters that you've dealt with and come through, you got three tens showing up. 10, 10, 10, or the 20th of October could mean something, or you or them are born on the 10th or 20th, or have those life paths or those energies in your blueprints, okay? Knowing that all the encounters help you 
everyone and everything that you come into allow you to continue to rise like a phoenix out of the flames and to actually lead the others out of those flames and into that light with the tower to take that leap that risk that chance and and rise like a phoenix out of the ashes scorpio and aries energy to be more stronger confident and more powerful i see saizu zahu that i like you that's like seashells seashells but seashore sue says you nice i love it see wordsmith work beautiful work make me think about it or if somebody's got a she shed a see a she shed those are actually pretty cool i think that's really neat okay so anyways you've got some strong scorpio and gemini showing up here leo aries and sagittarius some big time scorpio and pisces as well as some libra too all right and some aqua aquas are here all right could be born on the 17th possibly the 10th came back seventh and the eighth showed up along with the first and the fourth all right let's see what's going on, on the other side you are looking very good you keep you keeping people guessing you maintain your balance on your toes it's like a cancer cancer that the shooting keeps showing up for you guys i don't really get it. what's up with that <laughs> or maybe maybe like it's a cancer and that you like it's like the spaghetti legs and you just want a foot rub when you get home at night type of a thing <laughs> all right let's go for it what have we got on their side of the energy political fence Give me everything you got on the Seven of Swords to the Four of Wands to the Five of Swords, that Twin Flame card anchoring down on the reading. Boom. Two of Cups to the Emperor. Whoa, Cancer. You got, dude, I can't tell you guys apart. You're coming together. You're, you're meeting up with a power couple on this one here. That one on your mind, they're approaching from a totally different mindset. Two of Cups taking a chance, following that divine timing that's showing up on their side as well. 27th comes out almost like I saw it. The King of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Marvin Gaye, like knowing what's going on because you heard it through the grapevine. So they've got an ability to rise above through this. There's the Ace of Swords to the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands to the Nine of Wands. Look at that. The moves like Jagger. You got somebody that really knows what they're doing. I'm not doing Mick Jagger. Don't even try it, Cancer. I, you, I felt you make my head bob. But Stevie Nicks shows up. Those dreams. That's a beautiful song of hers, too, that connects. But that Ace of Swords in the upright, they've been quiet, but they're ready to talk about this. Maybe there's an age difference or something between the two of you guys. If you think of the age difference between Mick Jagger and Stevie Nicks, okay? It's either that or a mindset. You guys are, one of you is an old soul. One of you might age differently. They, they, either they're younger or more innocent, but they've got that knowledge that they come across as either more mature, more right there. But that Nine of Wands, they stay closed off and guarded. So it's even though they're checking you out and looking into it because they want to know what's going on with you. They're sitting good. The King of Swords knows how to use the weight of their words wisely and 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 to manifest from that one. So they might go quiet because they want to speak in a certain energy or a certain a certain direction like that. Okay. Um, on that Emperor card, Prince shows up. Okay. Something about the rain or the color purple resonates to them, or like whenever they're thinking of you or something goes on, then it's it that purple comes out onto it. Okay. The Knight of Wands to the King of Cups to the Death card. And now for something completely different. When Bob Dylan shows up on here, Scorpio energy, when he went electric and everybody was like, oh my goodness, how, how you, you can't go electric? You're a, you're a folk singer. He's like, oh yeah, pull my guitar pick. Watch. And he changed and revolutionized the world. And with the Knight of Wands, Chuck Berry coming in looking for that different energy, whatever it is the two of you have gone through, They've gone through the same thing on this one, even before you guys did met up, went through it, or it's the one on your mind, okay? I mean, I know who it is, but I'm not telling. We're, we're ironclad here, okay? That they see that same energy or that same energy here with you, or you're bringing someone in new that has needed the same kind of unconditional love, like a candle in the wind, right? Elton John coming in, still standing after all this time. They've been through and down that same road here. Maybe even with that Ace of Swords to the Knight of Wands, they're actually looking for, even if they're quiet, okay, the Ace of Swords in the upright, just like your Ace of Wands showing up, is that they're talking while you're following your passions. Maybe they've got a friend or two, or they're straight up Googling you, wondering like where their, their, their incognito tabs might have gone to, and trying to find that direction to get more details to, to reset something in this one here. Like, they, they, they want to know the 411 on you just as much as you're looking into it, okay? Could have, we could have a lot of cross-watchers here. Hi, cross-watchers. You are totally welcome. I don't mind. Everybody does it. It's fine. There's the fool card. Did I know? My goodness. Cancer, did I not mention the yellow dress or the yellow shirt? And right there it is. Oh, my goodness. Lord shows up. The E is silent, though. Something about that comes and resonates. That green handbag. And look at the little white rose up there. 
Uh huh. Maybe white. Maybe flowers or feathers. Maybe they're seeing feathers, or you are, and it's light leading you guys towards this brand new, fresh beginning with the six of swords to the seven of wands, where you're protected. With this here, that's more Aquarius energy, that card of science to find a perspective and a depth. On that seven of wands, it's almost like I heard your person just say to me, "Sorry, not sorry, Archer. I'm checking them out." So they're still thinking about you, even if you're thinking they're not. But I want to know more of why they're quiet. Just give me something on that, please, and thank you. And thank you for subscribing and liking and sharing. And I can't wait to get get downtown and check out check out the sun and the moon. I'll post some pics and stuff too. I'm still gonna do Leo though, so stick around, stay tuned, and come back. All right, let's see what we got. I'm just in a moment. The six is oh my god, I kid you not. Goodness. Cancer, you made me say it that other way. That's okay. Thank you, God. Don't forget to say thank you anyways. The Six of Swords is following the divine path and guiding on this one. So they're asking for others and they're quiet. About, I'm having a however moment. I kid you not. Kid you not. They don't want me to tell you, but guess what? I'm going to totally tell with the Two of Swords. They're following their faith and trusting in the process because they got a little crush going on for you. Like maybe like if you guys already had a first kiss, you bump foreheads. You know, or just something silly about them where like the cat gets their tongue and they're not sure what to say. But deep down inside of it, that nine of wands shows that they're going for it. But the devil, Capricorn energy, all that earth I was feeling right off the cheek there. Little Mark that calls it on there. Because this is not an obsession with you, so don't go getting nervous. This is that motivation to make things work out. They, It's like they get a little nervous, a little tongue-tied on the words. But then Capricorn is powerhouse energy that, that helps them rise like to the top of the mountain, like a little billy goat, okay? And out of the Capricorns, I know it's motivation, it's power energy, all right, that just gets you there. And if Jesus was a December 25th Capricorn, it can't be all that bad, right? That's some goodness right there, okay? So they see that power in you with the Five of Cups and the Fool card comes back. That High Priestess won't go away. Could be any sign, Archer. I don't want to tell. <laughs> here's, the, here's the answer. To, did you see my throat chakra? Just cut? They were like, stop it, Archer. And I'm like, no, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Full of card. They want that leap, but they're staying kind of quiet. A um, little bit of nerves, but that yellow is going to resonate. And there's that sun waiting for the eclipse to happen. This is where the start go time, like real time happens right now. So they're liking the changes that you're seeing or showing, or they've never met anybody like you, or you've changed back to like when you guys first met. It's the one on your mind. Hi, Priestess. I'm going to tell. Don't you dare tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> but it lifts the prunulian veil to let you guys forward. So um, they, you're on their mind more than you realize, and they have been working very hard. They think they needed to do more work to show up on your level. But I don't pull that off you. You just want things to heal and work out too. All right. But maybe they're, they're judging themselves more than they should. They're awesome that I'm seeing in the outcome here. All right. But they're liking what they see in you. And somehow, like, they, like, they're doing more than they have to. They're going to show up at your level. And you guys are just going to click when this, when this comes back together, comes into this. Boom. Right. All right. So there is something that they are doing to get that balance, get that stability, and just and just be ready to go. You know, they could have been through a lot in the past, that devil card. And a lot of people treated them not so great, you know? And then, like, they're like, whoa, cancer's different. This is wild. And it maybe makes them nervous of, like, maybe maybe what if history repeats itself, you know? So I can understand that. <laughs> I don't even thank you. Thank you, God, Spirit. I don't know why I even just randomly shuffled. You make them happy. Cancer energy. Another cancer, okay? But that's, like, right there. Just That's, like, right down the alley bringing that three cups in. With the page of pentacles they're really they're getting ready to send a message like they wanted to and then they'll send it down or maybe they just send an emoji back or something but at one point they're going to have one of those moments where spirit high priestess and they're like oh my gosh it was like a butt dial <laughs> maybe i do need a pillow on this chair <laughs> anyways they got some feels for you so let's see what an outcome is because they're going to want to reach out they're going to want to talk and and like they're going to show up more than you even realize on this one the outcome all right, let's go for it. All right, give me everything on the outcome down here. The Emperor to the Queen of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups. Let's go. Thanks, Kent. Whoa. It's, it, okay, it's a turnover. You ready? What the, no way. I just got chills all over. That was, that was more than a nine volt to the tongue. That was a jumper box hooked right up. That was a jump start to the tongue. I just felt, I like my, all my hairs just went whoop like that. The star is literally back. This thing's been on repeat right here. Lana Del Rey comes in with the work with the mic that allows the communication to start. And look how it lines up to that star up there. That's like spirits pushing the send button on this one, you know? 
amazing energy with the eight of pentacles because you guys have both done that fine work and that healing that we were talking about and know that a relationship is greater than the sum of all of its parts and it allows you guys to rise to a whole different level you guys do work well together yeah that's mirroring archer hi there's one archer's enough anyhow with the chariot but i guess no i'm gonna crash that's Jimi hendrix that's the left-handed guitarist that played right-handed guitars and going forward in that momentum this is interesting it's in your energy that you guys do work out well together oh yeah now we're just going to put the cards anywhere archer no there's a reason but the nine of swords to overcome that ability to stay up all night playing caitlin page staring on the ceiling on repeat and you guys come out of it and just like like it's a good it's got a good beat you can dance to it <laughs> but the page of wands to the nine of cups to judgment on temperance shows up look at the outcome right you guys that is scorpio sagittarius energy and the top shelf alchemy the akashic records that i've been talking about that you've been dealing with working through and learning from it comes out in the outcome to rise above it like pj harvey and and and, and speak and communicate from the soul together on this one here and to work on the hearts of the past and to learn from them it's amazing even though that the judgment card is usually scorpio energy i pull mutable off of it which is sagittarius pisces gemini and also virgo that allows you guys to adapt and be safe and take care of each other with the nine of cups to the page of wands miley cyrus comes in for something new different and a positive outcome that is a rebirth that lets you guys go forward in the star energy and try something completely new and different to embrace both your masculine and your feminine energies and do that fine work that allows you guys to line up and to come together to to change each other but to change back into what you guys were before everything that that has put you guys through so much in your lifetimes you've done so much work on both sides that you've come together on this it's beautiful energy love it all right give me give me give me a couple more on this let's go i don't want to stop your reading so we're going to keep going oh my goodness the lovers gemini energy john and yoko show up without the brown paper bag but sporting archer sharpie somewhere which was probably available at the apple boutique you can also find it at white house black market and dollar general but yeah the four of wands to the eight of wands look at what comes back around you guys both awake to this deep connection that you guys are safe protected to, uh, yeah i just ripped it right out of there and make each other feel safe and comfortable it's your wish it's like a wish that grants for you guys and allows you guys to go forward down that journey with clear and concise communication with the eight of wands you guys wind up with 12 wands how about that that's above and beyond if the tens are the final completion in tarot you guys go above and beyond it with an ace of wand each not safe for youtube <laughs> so beautiful energy here it's rising to a whole nother level well everybody else ends at that 10 of wands you wind up at 12 wands and you guys together find this new level that you can just trust and love each other in in a traditional way it's like it's like clearing out the energies and not having to worry about stepping out of lego in the middle of the night because you think it had you cleaned up and everything's done and you accomplish these goals and go forward into a place of true real love in a whole new energy beautiful oh my goodness cancer i didn't want to stop the reading this was so cool you've got strong sagittarius leo aries the fires everywhere the passions are the the embers are lit <laughs> um gemini aquarius big time Libra's keeping them uh, keeping low pro but they're here along with pisces and scorpio also some taurus energy too all right and definitely i'm seeing the 17th the fourth is back out the 13th even shows up here you've also got the first seventh and the fourth and the tenth interesting 13th just popped again if i didn't mention that i probably did i'm i'm not even here when i'm channeling but anyways cancer thank you so much for letting me read for you this is amazing and remember cancer this will resonate to any and all placements of cancer within your chart because we're not just our sun moon rising and venus signs but all the parts of all our charts and i am fha compliant and will ironclad read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires all you got to do is ask and if you'd like to email me at archerastrology at gmail.com where we will hook up connect and we'll take it from there and um I'm going to get back into the readings too when I get home. We'll get all the personals caught up. You guys are all awesome. Everything's booked and scheduled and ready to rock. All right. Until next time, Cancer, thank you so much for letting me be here with you and to read your energies and taking time out of your day, your life, your love, and your eclipse to make time for me. I truly do love and appreciate you for it. And God, Spirit, thank you so much for the messages as always. Um, we know the universe keeps you busy, but we are truly grateful for all the time you always make for us. Definitely. All right, Cancer, normally this is where I would exit stage right, but we're doing this live, which I'm kind of digging. So until next time, I appreciate you and love you very much, Cancer. All right, I'll see you then. Peace and love.
Namaste. Archer out. Yeah, chariot. Bye. I don't got an exit. <laughs> I love you guys. See you later.